Welcome back to the programme. For the first time in 40 years, women in Iran have been allowed to attend a football match at the National Stadium in Tehran. But celebrations were tinged with sadness as they paid tribute to the so-called Blue Girl, a fan who killed herself last month after being arrested trying to get into a match. Euronews' correspondent Hamid Reza Homa Unifa sent us this report from the game. These are the happy and excited faces of Iranian girls and women who have come to Azadi Stadium for the first time in the past four decades with official tickets in their hands to watch the World Cup qualifier match between Iran and Cambodia. So happy and excited because we haven't been able to see this green rectangle for ages. Iran Football Federation dedicated only 3,600 seats out of 74,000 to the women, but all the tickets were sold out in only a few hours. I think it's discrimination. They should have dedicated more seats to women, even if some of the seats remained empty. Previously, a few female fans would disguise as boys to get in. However, they were not always successful, such as Sahar Kodayari, who set herself on fire fearing from being jailed for trying to enter the stadium. Too many bad things happened. Some girls came here and got arrested, and recently Sahar Kodayari set herself on fire. Iranian women believe a threat to ban Iran from international competition by football's world governing body, FIFA, influenced Iran to open the stadium doors to them. But Iranian officials insist that admitting women into the stadium was a decision made based on women's demands, not pressure from outside. Unfortunately, some people want to connect today's event to foreign decisions. This issue had been previously discussed in cabinet meetings. Some religious and ordinary people in the society had some concerns, so we wanted to reassure them with a plan. In today's match, Iran's national soccer team thrashed Cambodia 14-0 a victory to celebrate, as did the women in achieving their long-time goal of watching the game in the stadium with the rest of the fans. Iranian women's presence at the stadium today happened after 40 years of fighting hard and can be counted as a harbinger of positive changes for their rights in the future, something that only time will tell. Hamid Reza Winifar at Azadi Stadium in Tehran for Euronews.